As a tech entrepreneur operating these companies in, in Germany, I work with more than 300 deep tech clients directly on their technology, very cutting edge. But rarely I have seen anyone who was motivated because what they are developing is, is a solution for a problem that they are victim of. Literally no one. Most of the time they always look at the exit as a startup founders, you know, okay, we want to do this because so and so we found up a gap in the market and we wanted to find a solution and exit. But this is not the case in social entrepreneurship. Social entrepreneurs are actually the victim of the problem for which they are finding the solution. I can give you uh, some example to understand that. So a girl around 16 year old came to us, our incubator, where we are, uh, you know, building impact ventures as a social, under, uh, social enterprises. She wants to develop a solution to remove cadmium from water. And at the time, I myself didn't know what is, why there is cadmium in the water. So she is a victim of that because she has a lot of the people affected by that. She's drinking uh, polluted water. And then she said she has a solution. If you come from South and Southeast Asia, there is a fruit called Java plum. It's a purple fruit, but the nut inside the fruit has a lot of uh, iron oxide particles. So what she did was she found all these uh, uh, Java plum in the nature. She, she, was, she found out there is a iron oxide and then she basically, she was grinding them and making a filter or a biofilter. And this is what she created. So she is a victim of the problem. She found a solution which is aligning to our nature. And this is why we see the motivation more and more there. These are very rare cases. But when I go to the social entrepreneurship side, 99.9% .9 they are the victims of the, the problem. And that is how we are always seeing true motivations yeah. and uh, from people who are really want to solve these problems. Which I find it a little bit difficult in the other side of the world.